If Justin Bieber really is a fan of Pantera, then more power to him. Um, but you know, I'm not a Justin Bieber fan. I don't really care what he does. I will not allow Justin Bieber to taint an entire genre for me. Art for music is some of my favorite art. Growing up, I was skateboarding and listening to punk rock and looking at album covers. And then of course, I wanted the t-shirts. And I started making stencils, which are a big foundation of my artwork, because I wanted to make homemade Metallica, Sex Pistols, Clash, Misfits t-shirts. If you're gonna wear a band tee, you better know about that band. I, I see it happen all the time. I saw, I saw a girl wearing a Joy Division shirt, and I was like, ah, Joy Division, and she went, what? She had no idea what I was talking about, and uh, she said she'd seen it on Tumblr and bought it at Urban Outfitters. Very depressing. I've got about seven or eight Iggy Pop or Iggy and the Stooges shirts. He's uh, the godfather of punk. He's a total pioneer, but he's also continued to put out good records. And they aren't all good, but he's uh, you know he's he's made he's made good music for 40 plus years. You know, the combination of Andy Warhol, who produced the first Velvet Underground record with the music of the Velvet Underground, to me, that is, uh, that's an awesome marriage of, uh, of art and music. Um, Warhol is one of my favorites. Uh, for a long time, the Velvet Underground were unknown and didn't, didn't make any money. Th this, this shirt now has probably sold as many records as the Velvet Underground have sold. I, I love the DIY appropriation of you know of band imagery, and a, a lot of it is uh, a lot of it I think is is a way of acknowledging something historical, but also saying, but hey, I'm irreverent and I'm going to twist it, I'm going to subvert it. I mean, Kanye has a history of smart samples in his work, so the idea that he picks and chooses the right raw material for the things he's doing, I can respect that as long as it's remixed creatively. And uh, if, if Kanye's choices of, of subcultural things to appropriate means that it leads people from, from him to those bits of subculture that might be undiscovered otherwise, I'm fine with that.